All right, so this is my responsive LED mod for a GameCube controller. There are five LEDs inside the case, powered by the GameCube, that respond to button presses. Right now they're going through an idle animation, but you'll see as soon as I start pressing buttons that they light up. So I play Falco in Super Smash Brothers, which this mod is designed for, and when I press down and B at the same time, my character blinks blue, and so does my controller. Likewise, when I press Y or X to jump, the controller flashes green. And when I down air with the C stick out of jump, then it flashes red. And when you taunt, it goes rainbow. You can also change the brightness by pressing down on the D-pad. So right now it's off and no, uh, no LEDs are coming on. And then you can go through eight levels of brightness before it turns off again. And after 10 seconds of it being idle and not pressing anything, then it goes back into the idle animation, which is just a rainbow animation. So in action, it can go through the colors pretty fast. Thanks for watching. All right, so the GameCube controller is in two halves with six screws uh, holding it together. I've already unscrewed it. When you take it apart, you'll see that a wire connects, or three wires rather, connect the microcontroller and power to the LEDs. And the LEDs, there are five of them, um, hot glued in and daisy chained together and I can disconnect them right there and separate the two halves of the controller. So this is the back of the main board of the controller and this in particular is the rumble housing and I've removed the rumble motor which is, usually sits in here. So I can take this apart now. And you can see that I've drilled two holes in it for the uh, output and for the input. The input comes from the controller. I've soldered onto the cord three lines, uh, ground, signal, and power. And those are the far left, third from the right, and second from the right lines. And the ground is ground. 3.3 .3 volts is what the power is. And the signal line tells me what buttons are being pressed. The microcontroller then, which is right here, decodes the signal line and uh, finds out what buttons are being pressed. Then, based on the button presses and how it's programmed to interpret them, it sends a data line signal to the LEDs and tells them how to light up. And each of the LEDs is full color, uh, RGB spectrum, and individually addressable. So there's potential for uh, any color of effect, any animation, so they can flash, they can fade, and they can even go through uh, and be controlled individually. So if you're moving left and right, maybe the colors can also fade left and right through your controller.